as you can see we're back with the golf cart this is a uh, roughly a 1990 uh, easy go golf cart 36 volt uh, it has been converted uh, from six six volts to three 12 volt uh, deep cycle marine batteries um, I did that for a couple reasons um, uh, number one cost number two for weight and uh, so far it's worked out great for us uh, we actually just sold our our camper our, we had a toy hauler and we hauled this in the back of the uh, in the back of the toy hauler so you know in, in when you're hauling something like that in a camper every little bit helps on weight so we lightened it up quite a bit by putting 312 volts in it we don't get uh, quite the runtime that you would get with with the uh, six volt batteries but it seems to do all right uh, we just plug it up pretty often um, when we're not using it we keep it plugged up basically so that brings me to my point of this video uh, this is a little different video for me uh, it's it's the first video that I've done of this kind I had a company reach out to me and um, asked if I'd be interested in, in uh, trying out their product. So basically what it is, is it's a battery charger and it's uh, the one that they sent me is a 36 volt for uh, lead acid batteries, which is the type that I run. And um, I've been trying to charge her out now for about six weeks. And I have to say, it, it seems like a like a really good product. I was impressed when I got it out of the box and just by the 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 feel of it and the quality. And of course, as soon as I plugged it in, it went right to working. And I've been using it uh, quite a bit lately. We haven't had any camping trips, so I'm not using it uh, constant. But um, I've been using the golf cart a lot around the house going to the mailbox and taking the trash to the road and I've been uh, you may have seen in some of my videos if you follow the channel where I've been moving the uh, wood splitter with the golf cart and that works out really well but anyway to the charger so like I said so far I'm impressed with it uh, I don't have anything negative to say about it at all um, and that was one of the things that in the agreement I told them that they was more than welcome to send me their product and I would do an honest review on it good or bad and if if I didn't like the product then I wasn't gonna uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't back it. I'm gonna get the chargers and we'll compare them and go over them a little bit so this is the charger that came with my golf cart when I bought it about uh, 10 years ago I don't know if this is the charger that came with the golf cart but it's pretty old the date of manufacture code says that this was built this charger was made in 92 so it's gave really good service <clears throat> but with new technology and all um, things have changed a lot that charger's heavy. So cords with the power cords and all, that charger weighs 34 and a half pounds. So that's that's pretty heavy, I think, it, especially if you're, um, you know, moving around, hauling this in your camper. So this is the new charger. And they sell these in different voltage and uh, whatever type of plug your golf cart has they offer that and I will post a link to this charger in the description you can go to their website and check it out <clears throat> uh, but like I said so far I mean I'm that's one hand just very impressed with the size of it 
and I know a lot of newer golf carts have smaller chargers but uh, there's still a lot of these old golf carts out there and and the chargers are hard to come by so we'll put this one on the scales here <clears throat> So, with cords and all, 5.11 pounds. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's a compact design. It's got the uh, cooling fan built into it. Uh, you know, it's not going to be something you want to leave out in the rain. You'd want to uh, try to keep it protected the best you can. But... <clears throat> uh, this one is a 15 amp charger the power cord comes off of it if you need to take it off for whatever reason so the actual power cord is 12 foot so basically the overall length uh, that you can be basically from your outlet is 18 feet so i like the fact that they've uh gave you a substantial amount of cord so that you don't have to be parked right up to an outlet to plug your golf cart in uh like with camping and all that's that's sometimes an issue uh, because it's best to plug into your um your power pedestal at the campsite because you'll trip the breakers in your camper a lot of times but uh, I, I like that they added some extra cord to it. So the uh, red and green light is on right now. the fan cuts on as you can see we have power and we're charging now when this is charged that light will turn green <clears throat> and you're good to go so like I said guys I wouldn't back a product unless I thought uh, <clears throat> it was it was decent quality and I'm impressed with that one I don't have a lot of experience with battery chargers on golf carts um, except for the one that came with it. That's the only one I've ever owned. You know, I've used some other golf carts that, uh, like on club cars, that, that had a little more modern um, chargers with them. But I think it's a fine charger. Um, it seems to seems to be built well, and and so far it's done the job, and that's all it can do. So guys, be sure and check out that link below in the description. Uh, if you're in the market for a charger, um, I think I think it's a decent charger, and so far it's it's working good for me. Uh, if you so guys, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you hadn't already gone and subscribe, we sure would appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.